if I'm running low on stock and I'm not sure I'll be able to restock in time, should I raise my prices? So there's, <laughs> there's um, different philosophies on this. Um, we have tried it different ways. We have raised our prices slowly, and, uh, and, and the effect of that uh, is you're slowing down sales, right? And the more you raise your prices, the more you're slowing down sales. And what, what Amazon sees um, is that you, you know, your sales are slowing down, and then you run out of stock. And then when you come back, um, when you have stock again and you, you, you send in your stock and, and you, you, you fire it up again, Amazon kind of went, okay, yeah, we got stock again, but we're not going to rank you really high because your sales were slow when you ran out of stock, right? And so, so now you start out having to kind of rebuild your rank because you slowed it down before you ran out of stock. Right. Um, so um, I tend to do the opposite. If, you know, I, I, I do everything I can to not run out of stock, but if I do, I tend to possibly even lower the price a little bit, but certainly don't rise it, so that I run out selling at a high clip, right? And um, uh, in that way, when when you get stock back in there, Amazon, okay, yeah, you were selling 200 a day when you went out, um, so we're gonna assume you're gonna still do that, and you come back in with you know the same rate, as long as you haven't been out of stock for too long, right? right? So that's that's like one, one take on it. Um, another take is, you know, just before you run out, you know, um, if you want to not have it show up on Amazon that you ran out of stock, what you can do, and this is something that uh, friends over at Post Purchase Pro kind of put out there, um, make your price ridiculously high just before you run out. So you know you have you have ten units left, right? And um, now you now you 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 make your price five or 10 times higher than it was, right? And um, what happens is you're not gonna run out of stock because nobody's gonna buy, right? right. And, um, but Amazon, your listing is still there, it's still live, and you're not running out of stock, it's just nobody's buying right now. Uh, and you know, and you, you're gonna have no sales anyway because you're gonna run out of stock, so it really doesn't hurt you that way. Um, but it prevents Amazon from registering you as being out of stock. Right. Right. So it's kind of just your sales just stop dead. And then as soon as you bring your price back down, um, Amazon just sees, hey, the price was wrong. And uh, so it's a it, it's kind of a, a nice little hack. Yeah. Yeah. There's there's definitely other factors as well to think about when you're running out of stock. <clears throat> the the if you're going to run out of stock and you don't know when you're going to have um, the stock coming in, if you're going to be out of stock for, let's say, three, four or five weeks, um, there's things that you might want to consider, right? So you might go, um, if I'm going to be out of stock for, for a long period of time, then you probably, you're going to lose out anyway on your BSR, your, your ranking, um, because you're going to be out of stock for so long. So you might want to eke out as much profits as possible while you sell out, right? Because you, you, no matter what, you're going to lose your ranking, right? So if you have some really bad, uh, something happens with your, your, your inventory coming in and you know you're going to be out for, the, for you know, several weeks. More, more than a few weeks, yeah. More than two weeks. Um, it, it, yeah, probably would be smart to raise your prices, try to eke out as much promotion, as uh, much uh, profit as possible, hone down your advertising, uh, zero in on just a really, really, really good converting keywords. Um, so you can get as much profit as possible. And then you, you're, you're going to have to launch, you're going to have to do a relaunch when you get uh, up and running again. So there's that. If you're gonna only going to be out of stock for a week, maybe two weeks, okay, you know, think about your, your ranking, right? All the, the ranking efforts that you're currently doing uh, or the good ranking that you have through the long-term, um, you know, optimization that you've been doing uh, or the external traffic and everything else that you've been doing to build your brand. Yeah, okay, let's, let's make sure you keep uh, your, your sales going as fast as possible uh, at that same or better clip um, so that when you run out of stock, you're, you're ending at a, a, a high note on your BSR uh, on your ranking for, for organic uh, keywords. And then when you get back in stock, yeah, you're probably going to lose a little bit of that, but you'll be a lot higher than you if would you otherwise. Had, yeah, exactly. Now, and there's another handling for it as well. If um, uh, You may only be selling on Amazon, but um, 
if if um, you create a fulfillment by merchant listing for the same product, you can just copy the the listing over to a, you know another um, of what they call it, another version, another condition, something like that. Variation or it's another condition. Um, so instead of selling new, you know, it could be old. But so another condition is selling on merchant fulfilled. Um, so you just basically copy the listing to merchant fulfilled. Um, and that says you're going to fill it. But then you put in, you know, let's say it's going to be three weeks before you get product in. Then you put in the handling time is, you know, four weeks. And now you won't be late um, sending them out because, you know, there's a four-week handling time built into the system. But you can still be selling all this time. Um, right. It won't, probably won't sell as fast because you're not FBA. Right. But um, you can still sell and the listing never goes down. Right. So another way to handle it.